sweetie? I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth, and tied it around my neck. Cookie? <laughs> Carol moved her stuff out today. Oh. Let me get you some coffee. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. No, oh, no, no, don't. Stop cleansing my aura. <laughs> don't just leave my aura alone, okay? And you never knew she was a lesbian. <laughs> No, okay? Why does everyone keep fixating on that? She didn't know. How should I know? Oh, my God. Excuse me. 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 China, you come on. I want to hear everything. Oh. Everything. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, where do I start? Um, well, this is Julie. Uh, Julie, this is Rachel. Hi, everyone. This is Julie. Oh, hi. 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 hi, this is amazing. I mean, how. How did this happen? Well, Ross and I were in grad school together. Yeah, but we haven't seen each other since then. Well, I land in China. Guess who's in charge of the dig? Julie! <laughs> Julie, isn't that great? I mean, isn't that just kick you in the crotch, spit on your neck, fantastic? You had no right to tell me you ever had feelings for me. What? I was doing great with Julie before I found out about you. Dinosaur guy. Hi, Ross. Oh, hi, Chloe. I want you to meet some friends of mine. <laughs> this guy's my hero. He comes in with some stuff. He wants it blown up 400%. We said, we don't do that. He says, you gotta. And you know what? We did it. <laughs> and now anytime anybody wants 400, we just say, let's Ross it. It was my best friend Ruth, and we got drunk on that hard cider, mm. and then suddenly, I don't know, we were we were making out. <laughs> Tell it again. <laughs> hey. Hi, Bonnie. Hi. <laughs> my boss let me off early, so I took the train. Oh. What are you guys doing? We're playing strip happy days game. <laughs> cool. I'll catch up. Good morning. Everybody sleep? Oh, great. Like a log. <laughs> Us too. <laughs> I'm going for a walk. <clears throat> hey, what happened to you? Oh, uh, nothing. I just felt like hanging out here and reading. Oh, the water was so great. We jumped off this pier and my suit came off. I think I brought back half the beach in my hair. It was so much easier when I used to shave my head. <sighs> You know, I gotta tell you, I just loved your look when you were bald. Really? Uh, because I think about shaving it all off again sometimes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you definitely should do that. Hey, everybody. Ooh, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Look what you did. You want to touch it? No, but... <laughs> So you want to come inside? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. I'll be right back. Make yourself comfortable. 
Guess who? Uh, Department of Sanitation? <laughs> it's me! Oh. Oh. Mm. oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh! <laughs> got a date tonight. Oh, yeah? With who? You know that girl I told you about who lives up in Poughkeepsie? Yeah. Yeah? Not her. <laughs> now, this is someone else I met, and I, I can't decide between the two of them. You know, the one from Poughkeepsie, even though she's a two-hour train ride away, is really pretty, really smart, and, and a lot of fun. But this other girl, well, she lives right uptown. Christ, no! Uh, Bad dream? I wasn't sleeping. Oh, yeah? Then uh, what was Phoebe's song about? Just, uh, the one with the cat. I gotta go. I got another date. Oh, so did you pick one yet? No, it turns out the one from Uptown was making a joke. But it was a different joke than I thought. It wasn't that funny. So I'm still torn. Well, look, you know, you don't really like the one from Uptown, and you're too exhausted from dating the one in Poughkeepsie. So I say you just end them both, okay? You take a train up to Poughkeepsie, and you break up with her. And on your way back, you break up with Uptown, and then by the time you get home tonight, you're done. The station is Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. A teeny teeny change of plans. Turns out I'm not free tonight. So really? <laughs> well, that's just lovely, isn't it? I must have missed your call, even though I didn't leave the flat all day. Oh well, no, I no, 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 no. That's not rude. It's perfectly in keeping with the trip where I've already been run down by one of your wiener carts <laughs> and been strip searched at John F. Kennedy Airport. Apparently, to you people, I look like someone who's got a balloon full of cocaine stuffed up their bum. <laughs> Oh my God, what are you doing here? I just, I had to see you one more time before you took off. You are so sweet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a big candy bar. <laughs> I had the most amazing time with you. Me too. This is the final boarding call for flight 009. Well, that's me. Ross has some big thing to tell everyone. Uh, well, okay, it's, uh, <clears throat> Emily and I, we decided to, uh, to get married. Hi, Ross. Take the Emily. Take the Rachel. Oh, come on, she wants to snuggle now? What, is she trying to kill me? It's like a volcano in here. What is wrong now? <laughs> this isn't what I ordered. Man, can't anything go right in my life? First, my marriage falls apart, and then I... I know, I know, and then you lose your apartment, and then you lose your job, and then your ex-wife gets married so fast, and now the coffee, ah! Ross, we need to talk. Okay. Sometimes I feel... No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to talk. I believe that the sun has set on our day in the sun. <laughs> what? You're a very sweet person, Ross. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I just don't think I can take another second of you whining. So you're saying I've become so whiny that I annoy you 
Janice. Well, yeah. Oh my God. I whiten them. <laughs> really? Well, what, what do you think? Well, they're really, really, really white. Yeah, what was wrong with your old human teeth? <laughs> I, I did leave the gel on a little longer than it said to. How much longer? Uh, a, a day. Plus, you know that tonight is your date with Hillary. I know, that's why I did it. Come on, are they really that bad? Maybe I'll just turn down the lights a little. How about all the way? Okay. So, uh, yeah. where were we? Are those your teeth? Oh, it... <laughs> you, you can see them, huh? <laughs> Yes, they're insanely white. Yeah, I, I did that for you. <laughs> What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? You've got a black light. It's 1999. Hey, I just got my uh, teacher evaluations. Check out what this one student wrote. I loved Dr. Geller's class. Mind-blowing lectures. Dr. Geller, you are definitely the hottie of the paleontology department. <laughs> Professor Geller? Yeah, well... I wanted to say how much I enjoyed your class. Oh, thank you. I'm a little embarrassed about calling you a hottie on my evaluation. That was you? Yeah. I felt a little weird about it. You're a teacher, I'm a student. But would you maybe want to go out with me sometime? Oh, I... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that would be the best idea. Oh, because I was thinking, um, the semester's over. You're not my teacher anymore. What time? <laughs> I'm meeting someone? Or, or are you just here to brush up on uh, Miriam's views on evolution? <laughs> um, actually, I find Miriam's views far too progressionist. <laughs> I find Miriam's views far too progressionist. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm a professor here. Uh, Ross Geller. Ross Geller? Why do I know that name? It's a... Wait. Did you write this? Yes. <gasps> you look nothing like I would have thought. You're... You're so young. <laughs> well, I, uh... I skipped fourth grade. Uh Try to talk to her? Sure. That's one of the great things about being engaged. I'm not nervous talking to pretty girls anymore. Could you guys help me? <laughs> uh, yeah, let me let me get that for you. It's it's really heavy. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so hi, I'm uh, I'm Ross. I I'm Kristen. Kristen, hi. Are you, uh, you new to the area? Because if you are, I'd love to show you around sometime. I, I actually just moved from four blocks over. Uh. But, but this block is like a whole other world. <laughs> you know, actually, it does have a very interesting history. Uh, this street is the first street in the city to have an underground sewer system. <laughs> Before that, sewage and waste would just flow right down the street. <laughs> yeah, sometimes ankle deep. Mm. Say, you're gonna be starving after all this moving. What do you say I take you to dinner tonight? I, I'd like that. Yeah? yeah. Great. Uh, Ross Geller. No. <laughs> hey, hi. Hi, I'm, I'm Ross Geller. Oh, hi. I'm Professor Wheeler. Oh. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. 
It's, uh, it's good to meet you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to show me around. Oh, no, it's no big deal. I mean, uh, if I weren't doing this, I'd just, you know, be at the gym working out. Is he going to introduce us? I think we're just blurry shapes to him now. Um, by the way, I, I really enjoyed your paper on a connection between geographic isolation and rapid mutagenesis. Oh, I, I wrote that in one night. Huh? You, you just went out with my best friend, you know? I, I just think it would be a really, really bad idea. Or, or not. <laughs> Is there any chance you would take me back? Oh, God. I am so sorry. But, I mean, it's, there's so much history between us, you know? OK, so if you think that, that I didn't say goodbye to you because you don't mean as much to me as everybody else, you're wrong. It's because you mean more to me. So there, all right? There's your goodbye. Rach! What? You, you keep, you can't. What? I am so in love with you. Please don't go. Oh, my God. I know, I know. I shouldn't have waited till now to say it, but I'm... That was stupid, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm telling you now. Get off the plane. <laughs>